wakulima wadogo wadogo wakiwa na nafasi kubwa ya kusaidia kukabiliana na mabadiliko ya tabianchi Muungano wa makanisa wa Africa Institute of Churches iliandaa kikao cha majadiliano katika makao makuu ya kanisa la ABC mjini Machakos kujadili mchakato wa kuwezesha wakulima mkutano uliofunguliwa rasmi na askofu mkuu wa kanisa la ABC aliye pia mwenyekiti wa baraza la makanisa nchini NCCK Dr. Timothy Ndambuki We cannot manage to transform our society our community without without the other And that is why at the, at the same note being the administrator there being that Christian anavaa mavazi na anapika ile salute ya zawaje nami Jumapili kila mtu anaona hakika the word of God has value certainly yeah yeah so this is a meeting which I I admire yeah and I once again say welcome Mkutano huu kijadili mikakati bora ya kuwasaidia kulima wadogo wadogo kutimiza lengo la kukabiliana na mabadiliko ya tabianchi ikiwemo kuelimisha wakulima mbinu bora za ukulima. The mobilization of faith communities they are already interacting with the people. Then after mobilization number one, education. Number one, the good thing is that you have a, a, a development program for the improvement of farming practices. How do we continue farming and be resilient in the face of climate change? But the bigger part, people are trying their best in the farming practices, but the policy education, what do they look for? Serikali kitakiwa kushirikiana na washikadau mbalimbali katika sekta ya utunzaji mazingira ili waweze kupata mbinu bora itakayowasaidia wote. Let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. Number two, at county level, county level church leaders, bishops, church deacons, and smallholder farmers, the county leadership, the legislature at that level is the county assembly, isn't it so? The governor's office and all those who are in those in charge of agriculture, there can be a structure at that level. We are talking about it, Archbishop, saying, can we simply meet twice a year? for two hours to talk about these people who produce 70% of our food and not simply talk about them but for them also involved aidha mataifa ya ulaya yanayolaumiwa kwa kuongoza uchafuzi wa mazingira yakitakiwa kufidia bara la Afrika kwani ndio wanaoadhiriwa pakubwa na mabadiliko ya tabia nchi because of the way they destroying the environment we are feeling it here this should not be alone it should be payment reparations for what you've done to us the ecological debt we are not begging we are demanding for what belongs to us like the way someone has driven into someone's house that person pays that person doesn't give a loan and our voice has to be clear baadaye waliweza kupanda miti katika makao makuu ya kanisa la ABC Machakos. Dennis Mwendwa Undugu TV.